So to start the day off, I'm gonna pick up some coffee at one of the top coffee spots in the US, I would say. I think it was rated by Yelp as the top five coffee shops in the US. I've tried it once before and I really do enjoy it. So I'm gonna get it again the second time. The wait can be long, but hopefully on this Tuesday morning, it won't be as busy. So today I want to share more of the breakdown of the app that I'm going to build. So for example, like the planning, what I'm going to build first, as well as the technologies that I'm going to use. For those who are new here, hi, I'm Andrew. I'm a software engineer for almost four years now. It's coming up and I feel that I haven't really built anything of my own in the past four years. And after seeing a few creators create their own apps and make some money out of it, I want to try to do the same and create something that's useful for me and hopefully useful for others as well. I'm also here in Vegas and uh, this is gonna be my last week here before I head back home, but it's almost nine o'clock, so I'm just gonna get ready for work. Okay, so I would be lying if I said I was completely focused on work um, behind me. I put it on a nature video in the background to watch as well. So for those who are new here, I wanted to create an app because I wanted to basically take control of my own destiny and have some more say into what I'm building. Working my nine to five job, I'm basically building something that I'm not totally interested in. I'm just doing it for the paycheck and this career that I chose early on when I was younger. So on one side, it's about building something I want to create and want to build. And on the other side, it's more of the exploration of ways I can generate some income. So with the skills I have now, I feel like I could still lean into programming, but take more of like an indie developer approach where I can create different applications for different use cases that I'm more interested in and find ways to monetize that so that others can use it as well. So those are the two main reasons why I'm on this journey. So right now I'm at the step to create the outline of what I need to build. And that's pretty important for me because it's basically like a step-by-step -step plan on what I'm building and what to build next. And it also gives me a timeline to see how long it would take. Thankfully, I'm using Cloud Code. Later in the video, I'll show you guys my plan. I'll use Cloud Code to help me plan. But yeah, with my nine to five taking the majority of my time, I need to focus on that, get some work done, and then have some more focused time on my app to get ready for development. Okay, so using Claude, it broke down the app into three phases, actually four phases. The first one being the MVP. Second phase is the core features. Third phase is the analytics that I want to provide. And last phase is polishing. So enhancing the UI UX. And it's more of like a nice to have and it's not necessary to have this phase. Polishing things up could, you know, be another update in the future. But in terms of the tech stack, I'm using Vue 3 as the front end, as well as Tailwind and Shade CN or Shad CN as the styling for the authentication and the database i'm using superbase which is pretty modern now i've seen a lot of smaller applications use superbase so i feel like that's a good way to go but yeah that's pretty much it it should be a pretty simple application i feel like having cloud code is pretty big for me because being a solopreneur and being the only you know engineer and person on the team i think having ai look over the project for me as well as help me code is very helpful and will probably save me lots of time like i mentioned before in my previous videos I really need to devote time to really get started on development and make progress on that because I feel like I could be easily sidetracked uh, throughout my day with other stuff. So maybe I do need to adjust the schedule of my day to fit in focus time to make progress on the app. We'll see how it goes, but stay tuned for more.
So before going on this path of solopreneur building apps, I was interested in other business ideas such as like creating a coffee cart to sell coffee in a more sustainable way without having to, you know, pay for rent for a building. And it made me realize the overhead for app development is essentially just the compute it takes to run the app. So for example, if you take a look at like cafes and restaurants, a big overhead of those is first of all, the rent, and then second of all, the payment to employees working there. For me, that sounds like a lot of headache and risk because you need to essentially make enough to cover those two baselines and whatever's left is, you know, for other miscellaneous stuff. But with app development, I feel like the main, you know, expense is the compute. I don't know if I'm just a rookie to all this. From what I can see, that's going to be the main expense because for compute, it's more of a pay as you go kind of model. So I don't have like a fixed charge at the beginning of the month unless there is a subscription based model that I, I do decide to go with. So in that way, I feel like app development is an easier way for me to get started because of how much you don't have to put up front to get started. So I essentially stayed in all day today. Um, I'm just gonna go to the store to see what's around and get my steps in, of course. So I'm just gonna get started with that for the evening. So for the remaining of the evening, I'm just going to work on my video. I still have lots to edit, so I really do need to catch up on that. For those who don't know, I use DaVinci Resolve to edit my videos. I've been using the free version of DaVinci Resolve and it's been working out for me. I feel like since I have a lot going on, I do need to make the most of my evenings and really get a lot of things done during this time outside of work. This is how I usually spend the evenings working on something or catching up on some things, but Thanks for tuning in. I hope you learned something. I'll keep you guys updated on the app development and I'll see you in the next video.